Welcome me now from Richmond is Virginia Governor Terry McCuff. Terry, it's great to have you on. Governor, I'm sorry. I had to get used Thank to you, your Chris. greatness, but it is important to get it right. You know, I'm, I'm impressed by your guts and going at it for gun safety in a state that is Virginia. What's changed? Why do people now open their ears and hearts to the idea of keeping bad people from getting their fingers on guns? Well, as you know, Chris, when I ran for governor, this was a top topic for me. I talked about it every single day. It's important. Uh, here in Virginia, we have one of the worst tragedies ever. At Virginia Tech, 32 individuals were killed, 17 injured. We just had a tragedy. Two journalists killed on live television. Enough is enough. I'm tired of the politicians bought and paid for by the NRA. It's time to stand up. It's time to do something about it. It's time to shut the gun show loophole down. It's time for background checks. So I'm trying to do that through the legislature, and that's why everybody in Virginia who's watching, please make sure you vote tomorrow. I need one seat to get control of the Senate, and we can pass common sense gun laws here in Virginia. As you know, in Virginia, we're considered a sore state. Uh, we saw last year thousands of guns that were purchased in Virginia, went to other states, and were involved in a crime. We need to shut it down. Gun show loopholes need to be stopped. Everybody should go through a background check. And we need to make sure that we get people elected to office who support these goals. Common sense. <clears throat> How do you get the gun owner, the guy who does, a woman who believes in the Second Amendment fully, who does do hunting, who does load their own shells, who takes a real interest in it, reads all the magazines? How do you get that person <clears throat> to say, you know what, nuts and criminals shouldn't have guns? Well, I think we're there, Chris. 85% uh, of Americans, according to the Pew Research, say that we should have background checks. Listen, I'm a gun owner. I own three guns. I just took my two boys hunting last weekend. But you know what? I went through background checks. All we're trying to do is say to individuals, issues with mental illness, domestic abuse, there are individuals who should not own firearms. This is common sense. And that's why I did an executive order. I just banned all handguns, no open carry in any of our state office buildings. We have fixed 60,000 Virginia state workers who go to our state office buildings every single day. They need a safe environment. So I took action. Individuals in Virginia today, if you have a protective order against you, you cannot purchase a firearm. But guess what? You can still own one. So I'm going to work with our attorney general to work with our prosecutors and the judges to say, no, no. If you've got a protective <clears throat> order, you can't buy one. But guess what? If you've got one, you need to hand it in. This is common sense. This is why elections matter. That's why I need the Senate here. I need one vote. Common sense. I'm trying to push the Medicaid expansion, Chris. $2.4 billion a year we're forfeiting in Virginia. I know. That's common a lot. Common sense. Yeah. K-12 well, investment. That's what people want. Mm -hmm. Our economy is booming. When I became governor, I inherited a large deficit. You know what? We just turned that into the largest surplus in Virginia history. Our economy today, 4.3% unemployment, lowest in the southeast the United States of America. We're creating jobs, but part of my job as governor is to keep our community safe. So I have been a voice day in and day out for common sense gun restrictions. I ran on this issue. I brought it up last year. But what happens here in the legislature, it's 7 o'clock in the morning with no recorded vote. It dies in a committee. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.